Mike on Amber, today you present yourself before your family and friends to become husband and wife. Before this company, you wish to share your commitment to the one that you have found the deepest love, formed the deepest bonds, and given the deepest trust. Words are typically my strong point, and over the conversations and times that we have had over our lifetime, and more in particular, over the past four years, even in our letter today, the first line I told you, what can I say that I haven't already said? Marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure. It must be built from love and patience, dedication, perseverance, talking, listening, helping, supporting and believing in each other through tenderness and laughter, learning to forgive and appreciate differences like Coors Light and Bud Light by learning to make the most important things matter and let go of the rest. Michael, today begins a new chapter of our lives as we become one. Our love story started years ago before either of us truly knew what was happening. Today, surrounded by family and friends, I vow to love you intentionally each and every day. I vow to learn to try and cook, since it will be my new last name. <laughs> I vow to only wake up early on days that don't end in Y. I vow to be your comic relief when times get tough and be your rock through every aspect of life. You are going to be the perfect mother and the perfect wife. I am so blessed to have lived this adventure of life with you. Changed hands together and then now married. I love you. No ceremony can create a marriage. What a ceremony can do is witness and affirm the choice to stand together as life mates and partners. So I ask each of you now, Michael, do you take Amber to be your lawfully wedded wife, to love her, comfort her, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health, in good and bad from this day forward, as long as you both shall I do. I vow to be the best version of myself for you each and every day. When the day comes that we become parents, I promise to be the best teammate and partner. Our life together is about to become so much sweeter and I can't wait to share all of life's challenges, struggles, and triumphs with the best teammate and my best friend. I love you. I love you. Amber, do you take Michael to be your lawfully wedded husband to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and good and bad from this day forward, as long as you both settle in? I do. From this moment forth, I ask both to remember these vows, this commitment, the meaning of these rings you now wear, be at peace and live more and more in the present, which is beautiful and stretches beyond the limits of the past and towards the horizons of the future. For as much as you, Michael and Amber, have consented to live together and have pledged yourself to one another, have declared the same by giving and receiving a ring, it is with great pleasure that by the power of the state of Virginia, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. I think you should kiss each other. Yeah. Advice for both of you. In a marriage, stay married to your best friend because your spouse may not always forgive you. However, your best friend will forgive you for making you do things like wear a dress during the wedding. So stay married to your best friend because it will do you well. Cheers to you guys. I can't thank you enough for being the most loyal and best friend a guy could ask for. You were the first to know, even before my own family, when I was going to propose to Blair. And you've welcomed her into your life and your family just as you would a sister. I remember being nervous at first to meet all of Tyler's family, but it was Amber who made me feel so comfortable and included around everyone. She's easy to talk to, and I knew we would get along right away because of that. What brought us together as best friends and sisters are the two guys that were here tonight, Tyler up beside me and Mike.
My final words of wisdom to the newlyweds, and as I said earlier, Amber knows I like to give her my opinion on just about everything. Make God the center of your family. Learn to compromise. Be committed and always put one another ahead of yourself. We couldn't be happier for you both as you're now officially one. Enjoy your night. We love you guys. Please raise your glass. Join us on a toast to the cooks. Michael Cook.